you consistently abide in the secret place, we give the Lord an opportunity to do miracles in us. Oh, I feel like preaching. I do. I do. I can't help it. It's in me, but I'm a teach. So let's go to Psalm again, Psalm 32, 6, and we're going to read from the easy English Bible. All right. It says, because of all of this, all your own people should pray to you. They should pray while they still have a chance. Then when danger comes to them, like a river of deep water, they will be safe. Now, the people that are praying to God consistently, when mad day come, because I know all of you are looking at the economy, you're watching the news, you got to know something coming. Come on here. You got to know that something is coming. If you don't know something is coming, something wrong with you because something is coming. And baby, guess what? It's coming and it's orchestrated by almighty God. It's coming from God. God is the orchestrator of what's about to happen because he's got to give man over to their own devices for their lack of communication and their lack of doing what he's already said to do. So when the evil day come and when the deep river hits you, oh, what's the deep river? The loss of a job, the loss of a loved one, a broken relationship with a best friend, a failed marriage. That's the, that's the deep water. The deep water is referring to trials, hardship, problems, issues. That's the deep water. These things are inevitable. They're going to happen. You can't avoid them. But God is saying in that day, when this happens, I'm going to be there for you. I'm going to sustain you. I'm going to keep you. Those that know how to get in a secret place, those that are consistent in seeking after God. Let's go to one more, uh, one more version. Let's read in God's word. It says, for this reason, let all godly people pray to you when you may be found. The raging flood water will not reach them. OK, you've got to actually have a time where you can be. God can be found. This tells me there is a time that can come upon us where God can be found. There's a time where God can literally hide himself from you. There's a time when God cannot be found. See, see, we don't want to talk about this. I wish I had somebody to say preach in the chat. I wish somebody would come in agreement. If God is saying in this passage of scripture, pray to God when he can be found, that tells me there's a time where he cannot be found. Y'all tracking with me? Let me give you this scripture in one more version, okay? Let's read it in the Passion Translation. It says, this is what I've learned through it all. And I feel like this is my testimony right here. This is what I've learned through it all. Believers should confess their sins to God. Do it every time God has uncovered you in a time of exposing. For if you do this, when sudden storms of life overwhelm you, you will be kept safe. Now, listen, this is going a step further. Not only are we told to pray consistently, but a part of that prayer has to be that we're confessing our sin. We don't like to confess. We don't like to tell God uh, what we did wrong. Guess what? He already knows. God already knows what you've done. God already knows what you're dealing with. God already knows. He's looking for us to be honest and tell him, God, I did this. God, I did that. God, I messed up. And the Bible says he's faithful and just to forgive us and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. God is faithful to forgive. God is faithful to deliver. God is faithful to, to bring you out. Somebody. Somebody.